Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmadov. In a previous video, I've shown this example. I had a function that calls side task. The side task returned a number. Sometimes the number was 7. It was randomly drawn from 10 digits. If the number was 7, the task would finish. That's the number we were looking for. Otherwise, we just call the side task again. Let me move the test runner to one side and show the function on the other side. This is the function. We're using an intermediate utility function called check number. We call it from our test to kick it off. Then it calls side task, checks the number. If it's 7, it stops. And otherwise, it calls the function itself recursively. Now, let's make this function, this utility function, a reusable function so that we can use it in our tests to run Cypress commands and stop when a predicate function or condition, like if number equals 7, is true. So I'm going to copy this function and I'm going to start a new test. I'm going to focus on it and I'll say recursive. So what's a good function that takes our function and recursively calls them? I would say const recurse and it has to have parameters. Now let's look at our code originally. So we have Cypress commands that we want to call. There could be multiple commands. It's not necessarily just calling site task. We might have multiple Cypress commands that we want to call to generate some kind of output and then that output should be checked against the predicate. So we literally have two types of logic. The commands we want to call and the predicate or testing. So I would say we need two parameters. One is commands function. And I'll just use fn as to say this is a function. And check function could be also predicate. So what did we do first? Well, we called the commands function, right? We called it side task. So we need to call commands. And we, let's say, assume for now that this yields a Cypress chain. So we can just simply say then. And then we get some kind of result. All right. So in this case, what do we have to do? Well, we have to say x returns something with Strufy. Then this is the same as saying if n equals sand, but we want to stop. So we can just copy the same command saying nice and will return. So we stop the execution. On the other hand, if the predicate doesn't return true value, we want to call ourselves. Now we don't want to call the commands function. No, this is the side task equivalent. We want to call the function itself. So we'll say recurse. And what are the parameters? Well, we just pass whatever we will pass in ourselves. So this is our utility recursion function. And now we can call it. So I'll say recurse. So we need two functions. The first one just calls side task. Right? And the second one is the function that checks the predicate. Right? We'll say this is it. So we actually, uh, let me just structure this a little bit better. It takes n and says n equals 7. And we can remove all of this. So I'm going to save it and let's see if this works. I can see it's calling, right? We're not logging anything, but we can still see what the each execution has yielded. So here, yielded 2, 9, 7. Perfect. So this is a reusable function where we can just give an arbitrary chain of Cypress commands. It doesn't have to be even a single chain can have multiple, as long as we yield something. And we can give a predicate function that returns a truthy value when we should stop. And now it's reusable in multiple places. In the next video, I'll show how to make this more reusable by adding logging and configuring an iteration stop, such as the maximum number we can call ourselves recursively or at maximum timeout. 